Today we will see how to destroy things in Unreal Engine. Let's get started. Let's create a new project in Unreal Engine. Under Games, I will select the first person template. I will also include the starter content in my project and let's name the project something like uh, Destroy Items. Create. Now we need the assets that we want to destroy. So I will first add some Quixel assets here. Add Quixel content. So I will look for toy car and uh, I have already downloaded the high quality one and I will add it. So it is added to our project. Now let's drag that asset in our level. And you can focus on anything by pressing F in the viewport. Now this is very small. Let's increase the size a bit. So here in scale with this asset selected, with this lock also selected, we will say 20. So now this is a bit larger. And now we will go to fracture mode in Unreal Engine. So it has different modes here. So under fracture, we can see this new button here. In order to destroy these objects, in order to destroy these meshes, we need something called uh, geometry collection. So let's do that. So by pressing this new button here, we can generate a new geometry collection asset here. We can change the name here. Let's say toy car collection. And it will be created in our content folder. And now we can see that uh, this asset is all selected here in fraction mode. Now with this selected, let's click this uniform button. It will apply some simple fractures here, uniform fractures here. And you can play around with these settings. You can increase them if you want to. And you can play around with these settings and see what looks best for you. For now, I'm going to use the default settings. I will click fracture. And uh, we can also select a particular parts here. So for example, using this interactive selection here, we will select only these parts. And now we will only apply the new fracture to these parts. So we can break these parts down further. So with these parts selected, we can say uniform fracture. And again, I'm going to use the defaults. If you want, you can try and uh, use different numbers here. For now, I will use the defaults fracture. So with this asset selected, in details, we can look for bone colors. So bone colors, we will turn it off. And uh, there's one more thing that you can see here. So for example, if we select it, and uh, if we select all of it by clicking here, so there's something that you can see here explode amount you can see how it will explode let's go back to our normal mode for now so now we have a geometry collection that can be destroyed and we can also see that instead of static mesh this is now converted to a geometry collection actor now if we play the game and if we try to fire at it right now nothing happens so we also need to make some changes to the projectile let's do that so in content folder, first person blueprints, we will open the projectile blueprint here. And with this collision component selected, we will check simulate physics and we will also add some mass. So for the mass, let's use 2500. And we also need to update the collision here, collision presets. We need to make sure that this collision is actually compatible with physics. So we will use collision enabled, query and physics. Compile, save. Now back in the map, we can see if it works. So yeah, it is working and this asset is breaking. But as we can see the inside, the interior of this asset uh, after breaking does not really look good because of the material that is used. So let's also Try to use a different material for the inside. 
So in the content folder, this is the geometry collection asset that we created. If we open it, under materials, we can see the different materials that are used. And we want to change this index one material here. Because we have added the starter content, we have some materials that we can use. I will look for wood material. And I will use this one, M wood pine. Now it should look a bit better. So yeah, now it looks a bit better than before. Now these objects are actually pretty fragile. They can be pretty fragile. So the way they are breaking is actually using force. So they can also break if they just fall. For example, we can see that. Yeah, so because some impulse is being applied to this, it is breaking. It is being destroyed. If you want these objects to be destroyed only at some particular event, that can also be done. We will see how to do that. Before that, let's uh, add collision to our mesh. Let's open the static mesh. And uh, we can see that right now there should be no collision here. So in player collision, we can see that uh, there's no player collision here. Let's add that. Auto convex collision. I will use this one. Apply. So right now they should have some collision. Okay, so now we will see how to actually add uh, the ability to destroy these only at particular event. For that, we will create a new blueprint. So in the content folder, let's create a new blueprint actor. Let's call it BP car. And uh, for this actor, I will duplicate this asset. We can press Ctrl D to duplicate it. So this will be for BP. So I will just say for blueprint for BP. And I will open it. Now we will keep this default scene root. Make sure that you do not delete this default scene root in your actor here. And now we will add the static mesh that we want to use. This is very small as we know. So let's increase the size. Let's also rename this asset here. You can rename it by clicking here again or by pressing the F2. So I'll call it uh, toy car static mesh. And in the event graph, after some delay, let's use a delay of two seconds. So after two seconds, we want to, to destroy this. So first we will destroy the static mesh that we have. So this will just disappear now. And after that, we need to add the geometry collection component. And with this node selected here, we can select the geometry collection that we want to use. And we will use this one, toy car collection for BP. And after a delay of five seconds, let's make it disappear. So after a delay of five seconds, we will just destroy the actor. Let's drag the blueprint that we made in our level. Let's see what happens when we play it. Actually, let's place it uh, somewhere like here. We can press the end key to snap to floor. So there is one more thing that we need to do. After we add the geometry collection component, we need to apply some impulse to it. So let's add uh, radial impulse. And uh, we need this to be at the location of the actor. So let's get the actor location. Connect it to origin. For the radial, let's say 200. Strength, let's say 250,000. Also, let's go to the geometry collection asset for our blueprint. And I will change the mass to 250,000. I'm using different assets for blueprint and uh, normal uses because uh, I want the one that is used for the blueprint to have a larger mass because that's just what uh, works well for me. 
Now let's see what happens. So yeah, it is breaking. It is being destroyed. Actually, let's increase the impulse even more. So I'll just add one more zero here. Yeah, that looks better for this. So we can actually destroy these after some events in that way. So in the beginning, we do not use the geometry collection asset. So it is a simple static mesh that cannot be destroyed normally. When we want to destroy it, we destroy the static mesh component. So the static mesh component is basically removed from our actor. And then we add a geometry collection component. And after that geometry collection component is added. We select the geometry collection asset that we want to use and also add a radial impulse to it. And after that radial impulse is added, we want our asset to disappear after some time. So after a delay of 5 seconds, we will destroy our actor. Now let's also take a look at the geometry collection asset that we have here. So the only difference between these two is I used a different weight for the, I used a different mass for the blueprint asset. And uh, for both of these other options are same. So let's take a look at size specific data here. The collision type here is implicit implicit. If it is set a different uh, set to a different option for you, you can try changing it to this if uh, you don't like the way it looks for you. And uh, the implicit type is convex. If the default option is set to box, you can maybe try changing it to convex if the explosion or the destruction doesn't look right for you. Let's take a look at uh, damage threshold. So these are the damage threshold. I'm going to use the defaults for now. You can try changing these and uh, see how it looks for you. Let me place one more asset here. And let me snap this to floor by pressing the end key. I feel so bad destroying this toy car. But this is to show you guys how to destroy things in Unreal Engine. And uh, yeah, that's it. It's very simple. I would really appreciate your feedback about the video in the comments. So please leave your feedback in the comments. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, share it with your fellow game devs. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.